kids in this video we will learn about use of appropriate unit to measure the length or distance between objects when chanda went on a trip with the villagers she wrote the length of some items on a paper today while chanda was cleaning her house the paper was accidentally torn now chanda is unable to understand which is the measure of what now chanda quickly wrote the names of the objects and places that were written on that paper on another paper like this she then picked up a piece of paper from those pieces of paper with 1 meter length written on it kids can you tell which of these items can be 1 meter in length absolutely correct peanuts and shoe are much smaller than 1 meter it is possible that the length of the mat is 1 meter hence the correct answer is length of the mat now chanda found these two pieces of paper on which 4 cm and 22 cm were written now can you match the length of the remaining two objects with their correct lengths you can find the answer by pausing the video well done kids you have found the answers to them because the length of the peanut is much smaller than that of the shoe length of peanut will be 4 cm and shoe length will be 22 cm kids if chanda had written the distance between the railway station and the well on a paper which of the following could it be if you want you can pause the video and find the answer well done kids you have found the right answer because the distance from the railway station to the well is very long we cannot measure it in centimeters therefore the distance from the railway station to the well will be 3 kilometers after all chanda got all the measurements written by her to match see how she's dancing happily children in this video we learned about which units can be used to measure the length or distance between objects in the next video we will learn more about it with some interesting examples